Hey guys, it's Stan the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today, I'm over here with Su Lin, the manager of the Staten Island 99 Favor. And she was nice enough to reach out to us and say, hey, you know, come check this place out. And we will. So, if you notice the sign here, it says 97, right? Now, that's a big mystery. I will let the manager Su Lin explain. Okay, because we have um, different locations, so we have a different number, yeah. All right, different location, different number. So today we're gonna order the hot pot foods first. We're gonna sample the hot pot selection. Then we're gonna move on to the barbecue selection. And then you get to see it like that. So under the appetizer section, there is a seafood pancake for $1.99. Now, many years ago, that seafood pancake offering was included on the all you can eat menu, and we would love it. So today, we're gonna order one for $1.99. All right. So while we're waiting for the food, I'll take you on a little tour of the place. Entering from the sidewalk, you see over here, General Soul's assistant, right? Now, he always has his hand out. I don't know why, guys. We got here, full bar. You know, they got a lot of green leafy plants for you. Uh, I mean, not to eat, but it's there. Over here would be the large tables where you're gonna have, wow, a party of 12? It is pretty big, guys. Sauce bar. Now, the other locations of 99 that I've been to, the sauces are actually a little round metal containers recessed into the counter. These are bowls. Look at this nicely prepared sauce bar over here. I'm gonna show you the toilets, right? Now, a traditional men's garment, ladies' garment, toilets are that way. And we go over here to the toilets. They are individual like uh, toilets over here. You open up and you do your business. And the hand washing is over here. As you can see. So now, the pancake that I was referring to has arrived and so did our soup base for the hot pot. Let's take a closer look. The pancake, guys, with dipping sauce. And over here is my spicy pot. Notice the workmanship on the pot itself. It got like little cartoon characters on there or something, right? And Tong got a uh, non-spicy version over here as you can see. Cheers guys. Mmm. Mmm. Eight for the pancake. It like it could be pizza. how it comes in a little wooden box that's like tic-tac-toe guys they didn't have that at the other location wait before you, you get the stuff let me get video okay i had to stop you there you're gonna just like i'm gonna put in the duck feet that's it huh i'm gonna squirt and put in the duck feet first the duck feet that's duck feet mm -hmm. doesn't look like duck feet there is duck feet They don't have chicken feet, so I have to settle for duck feet. Tongue loves his feet, guys. Put it in the comments below. There might be a specialty website for people like Tongue. All right, so let's take a closer look at just what came. And this is the stuff that arrived. It is looking very nice, guys. So basically, there are photos of the stuff when you order it. So there won't be any confusion. So over here we have beef. 
dumplings with little bits of fish eggs in it, some mussels, uh, some cow stomach. Over here it's like a tofu skin type of deal and tongue stuck feet right in the middle. Mushrooms, um, perhaps this is an intestine of some kind. Then you got the crab as well as uh, enoki mushroom. Of course the pancake from earlier. And then we have, oh my goodness, what's this one, Tom? Uh, fish. It's fish. Oh, here's my rice cake. And these are taro? No. no. Lotus, root. Lotus root. All right. Lotus root. Tongue ordered that. I never eat that. All right. Let's get started, right? Now to eat these things, you simply put it into your hot pot. You cook it and then you eat it. There we go. So about half the things you see here is what Tung ordered for himself. Like the feet, the guts and the intestines and stuff like that. I'll be having what I consider the normal stuff. Here we go guys. I'm gonna put in some beef. I really enjoy these here dumplings with the fish eggs in it. A couple of mushrooms. Some of these uh, tofu things. Enoki mushroom. Rice cake. All right. Oh, I'll take a muscle. I don't mind muscle. And I'll take some of this beef stomach. Just two pieces. That's three. All right. Maybe three pieces. All right, here's your beef tongue. When it comes to hot pot, certain things cook quicker than others, such as the beef. The beef is already ready, and the rice cakes are not. So I'm gonna take some of this beef out and give that a try. Beef. I like it with a little bit of salt. Mm. Very good guys. Like a nine. Right? But I'll tell you, the beef was fresh and it's a uh, you know nice and tasty. But the thing is Whatever you put into the soup will end up having the flavor of the soup. Right now, this is spicy mala. So, whatever you put in this one, it's gonna be spicy. But that's what it'll taste like, which is good. I like it. You know, spicy. Woo! Now, when coming to a hot pot, be prepared. Whatever you wear is gonna smell like this for the rest of your life. So, don't bring your $5,000. Stetson Diamante 1000X cowboy hat to the uh, hot pot and barbecue. Mm. Excellent. Everything here so far has been excellent. What do you think, Tung? Tung just, he's busy chewing. Mm. All right, guys, the table has been reset for the BBQ section of the video, and uh, Tung has ordered something that is unique to this location that I haven't seen the other 99 favorites before. It's called the BBQ combo, so when it comes, the guy will explain. All right, it looks fantastic. Alright guys, so the BBQ combo has arrived and Henry over here will explain. 
is. So basically the barbecue combo is just for some customers that don't really know what they're doing or it's your first time here. You can dig up the barbecue combo and you could try all the slices, whatever you guys want to do. And if you want to be familiarized with the slices, you could ask me what slices you guys like, prefer, and you know what I mean? Then you could just go from there and um, just order whatever you want after that. Ah. So, will you be able to like uh, name them from like going yeah, from one yeah, way yeah. to the other? Yeah, so this is the lamb chop. This is the top blade steak. It's kind of like a bonus steak. This is the Angus, right? Pork belly. This is the thick cut. This is the beef. This is the New York cube. It's kind of like the new stuff that we got as well. The spare rib. This is the Angus beef. The cow tongue. Curry chicken. Squid. And then prawns with garlic sauce. And obviously, you know, french fries for like a little appetizer. And I saw like house barbecue sauce. Wow. Thanks a lot, Henry. It looks delicious. No, no problem, no problem. No. Alright, so Henry, mm -hmm. I've been to many a uh, like table barbecue places. Now, some Korean places, they get so angry when I try to cook it myself. Mm -hmm. And in some places, they'll put it there and walk away and make you wondering who does the cooking. So for the 99 here in Staten Island, who does the cooking? Uh, so for us, like our company, we usually cook the food ourselves and we actually try to help the customers as best we can to make them understand, you know what I mean, and be able to cook for them as much as possible. But if we can't cook for them, you know what I mean, we ask the customer to kind of help us so we can kind of help the other tables as well. I see. So if the restaurant is in the weeds, which means they're extremely busy, then, you know, it'll be nice to help out with the cooking. But typically, the people here will cook for you. Oh, excellent. So I guess uh, you can you can start the cooking. Unless yeah, you're yeah. busy. Are you busy? No, 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 no problem at all. No? no, no, no. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, let's give it a try. Ooh. Let's take a closer look. Pork belly, guys. It tastes like pork belly. Beef. Interesting. It's a little bit sweet. These are mushrooms, right? Yes, sir. All right. Mushrooms. And it tastes like mushrooms. Alright, it's gone. Now I'm going to tell you what I really think. Just kidding guys. It's pretty good. Right? All you can eat.
all you can of this backpack. Try some of these fries, guys. Oh, no carb for you? No? No carb for tongue today. Now I said the pork belly tastes the pork belly, the beef tastes like beef but sweeter, right? The mushroom tastes pretty mushroomy and then the shrimp, it tastes like shrimp but even shrimpier. Yes guys. Vegetable. Thank you, Henry. I'll tell you the truth, guys. These are like fresh meats that you just simply heat up on the grill. Is there anything special about that? No. So what makes things really good is that if you grill it yourself to the way you like it, right? Now, what I'm gonna do once, once this is done, I'm gonna order a couple of things I'm gonna grill it myself the way I like it and I'll show you the difference. All right guys, it's time for me to do the cooking. First, we have this on high for the entire time I was away and now it is very hot. Now this grill is not too powerful so you can't overload the grill, right? So first we're gonna do the lamb chops. Now the lamb chops, right? Now in order to get it great seal on it, it has to be bone dry, so we're patting it dry with the tissue. Remove as much moisture as possible to get that really good sear going on. Here we go. Alright, All right. nice and dry. And we're gonna salt them both sides. So, over here, got a thing of salt. Put enough salt on it, both sides. Rub the salt in. Right? Right. Now, put them on. I'm pressing a little bit to have a good contact with the grilling surface. You see the smoke? Yummy! We're gonna give it like a minute on each side, then we move on to, to some of the other stuff we got here. Alright, so while that's cooking, I'm going to prep here, this here, ribeye. Now as you can see, it comes from the kitchen slightly moist. Salt the ribeye. Now I'm going to flip the lamb. Check out the char, guys. It's 
So we're gonna give the lamb a little bit of time, move to the side, and then we're gonna cook the ribeye. Pork belly, guys. So for the thicker cuts, I'm going to sear the edges so you find the parts of the grill that have not had food on it, so it's nice and hot, sizzle. Look at that guys. And this is my plate. The ribeye. Thank you. The ribeye I'll give an 7.8. Right? Because, you know, it's, it's a little bit thin, so no matter what you do, it will be kind of like, be well done. You know, there's nothing you can do about that. Right? Now, the pork belly. And of course, it's, you know, it's really thin, so I'm going for the crispy aspect of it. Mmm. Good and crispy. Mmm. Now, the lamb chops were a little bit thicker, so I was able to have it be... Medium rare. There's some char on the outside. Excellent. Nine for the lamb. Mm. All, right. All right, so Tung just finished his plate of the stuff I cooked, and we're gonna find out what he thinks of uh, how I cooked it and how they cooked it. So, Tung, what do you think? The lamb chops definitely yours better, definitely is much better as little sear. And the other, <clears throat> the other portions, I have to say, they did a little better because you overcooked some, some of them, and it's a little too salty. All right, cut, cut, cut. So, Tang said that all my stuff was much better than all their stuff. All right, now moving on to the shrimp, which they're about to cook for us. And so now, here comes what 99 Favor is well known for, or at least what I know them for, they're shrimp with like garlic on it. So they take like shrimp with the head, they cut off the head, they cut the shrimp open, they cook it, and they put garlic on it. It's one of my favorite things about 99 Favor. So good guys, so good. It's being cooked right now. Take a closer look.
All right, guys. So I'm gonna have to say, the shrimp, this shrimp right here, is the best thing I had today. Really good. I mean, a lot of stuff is up there. Those lamb chops are really excellent. The hot pot stuff, super good. But I think the shrimp is where it's at. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for joining me and Tung over here at 99 Favor in Staten Island. Have a good one, guys. Oh, I need more tap water. Cheers. Cheers, Tom. As full. Alright. So, Tom, what, what do you think of the experience so far? I have to agree. Shrimp is the best part over here. Ah. Alright. So, we gotta cook everything else. Okay. Just cook it. <laughs> Just like pull it on there. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Hard enough. Okay. We'll eat the shrimp first, then we'll cook the rest mm -hmm. of this. Uh, cook. Uh, yeah.